I'm Allie. And I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about food as medicine. In this video, we are going to be talking about five supplement and food as medicine solutions for hair loss. Yes, hair loss occurs often with aging process and it can be accelerated by genetics as well as nutritional deficiencies. We also see hormones to play a big role in hair loss. Fluctuating times of hormones such as postpartum or perimenopause can drive hair loss. And then stress. Stress can often be a number one indicator of hair loss as well. One thing that we can modify, maybe we can't modify our genetics or the aging process or hormone fluctuation, but we can change our diet and ensure that we have optimal nutrition to support healthy, robust hair. So our first food as medicine tip is going to be to consume eggs. And I'm talking here about the whole egg. Please don't just eat the white because actually egg whites are going to drive biotin deficiency. And we know that biotin is essential for production of keratin, which is what makes up our hair. The egg yolk is going to be a rich source of biotin, of omega-3s, and of other B vitamins such as folate, which we also need for that rapid proliferation or hair growth. Now, instead of some of those formulas out there that are hair, skin, and nail focused that are just biotin, we want to ensure that we're taking that biotin within a B complex. Now, a B complex like ours is going to contain methylated forms or highly bioavailable forms of things like folate and B12 that are also supportive of hair, skin, nails, all of the things, energy as well. But biotin in and of itself, if you supplement with too high of biotin, we can actually drive thyroid imbalance, which can further impact hair loss. Absolutely. Our second food as medicine is going to be berries. Berries are rich in anthocyanins. These are the antioxidant pigment in that purple spectrum of color. We know beyond anthocyanins that they're also very rich in vitamin C. It's important to get an abundance of antioxidants to offset that oxidative stress Oxidative stress in itself can destroy tissues and hair is often one of those first tissues to go. When looking at supplement solutions, our BioC Plus would be a fabulous addition. This includes active bioflavonoids in addition to vitamin C sourced from acerola cherry. Acerola cherry, as opposed to just straight up ascorbic acid, is going to be more bioavailable or easier to absorb. Now, vitamin C is key not only as an antioxidant, but it also plays a role with collagen synthesis or the production of collagen, which also will help with hair growth. And speaking of collagen, we can actually be taking collagen peptides to further support our hair, as well as bone broth, which is going to be a rich source of collagen gelatin and other amino acids that literally make up your hair. So I think it's important to note that hair is made of protein. Yeah. And if we're deficient in protein, we're not going to have healthy hair. Which leads into our fourth solution, which is getting enough protein. So if you're experiencing hair loss, you want to ensure that you're at least getting one gram per pound of body weight. So as an example, a 130 pound woman is going to want 130 grams of protein to actually regrow their hair. Once you've seen some improvements, you can bring that down to like a 0.6 to 0.8 range, which would mean that that 130 pound person would be consuming a goal of around 75 to 90 grams of protein to maintain that hair regrowth. But when we're looking at protein, we also want to consider there's a theme in this word bioavailability, which again means easy to absorb or assimilate or use in the tissues of the body. And the best form of biologically available protein is in our grass-fed way. In fact, you can check out this video here where we talk about all different protein powders and our favorite options. And we introduce you to our smoothies and protein shake ebook, which is only $1.99. This is important because 130 grams of protein can be a lot to get in when we're chewing all of that mass, especially if we're looking at getting that in from meats, and extremely difficult to do with a vegetarian diet. So we would definitely want biological sources of protein and probably incorporating one to two scoops of the naturally nourished grass-fed whey to help you achieve that protein goal. And last but not least, we know that vitamin A deficiency can also be a big driver of hair loss as well as skin issues. So here we're looking at butternut squash. That beta carotene in butternut squash is going to convert into vitamin A in the body. In fact, one cup of butternut squash is actually going to contain 450% of your daily recommended vitamin A. And that brings us to our final supplement recommendation, which is going to be a quality multivitamin. 
Now, here we have our multi avail mama because it's going to be really high in that vitamin A, uh, both a mixed carotenoid form and a palmitate or a fat soluble form. So multiple forms of vitamin A there. Also going to be really rich in folate. And we often will see women when they're taking their prenatals, mm -hmm. their hair is looking really luscious and wonderful during pregnancy. And then maybe they stop taking it while they're breastfeeding, which is a big mistake. And their hair starts falling out. So we want to continue that through breastfeeding times and always be on a high quality multivitamin. Yes, another thing that would be unique about the Multivill Mama and our multi defense with iron is iron iron does play a huge role with the thyroid as we've talked about in this video the thyroid gland requires iron to use or actually absorb the thyroid hormone also when we're looking at our iron stores we may want to ask our doctor to run a cbc or a complete blood count where they can assess for anemia as that is a key cause of hair loss and getting even more qualitative, running a ferritin level. We've seen actually that we require over 60 in our score of ferritin to see hair regrowth. So if you're seeing a ferritin level lower than that, you would definitely want to ensure that you are supplementing with that iron. And then if you're concerned about the thyroid playing a role, maybe you're having some metabolism issues along with hair loss, check out this video where we talk about biomarkers or lab assessments to understand the health of your thyroid gland. So bringing this to life in a sample day, maybe we're starting off with two or three eggs in the morning along with a cup of those antioxidant rich berries for breakfast. And then we're having a smoothie using a scoop of that grass fed whey for our lunch. And for dinner, we're closing out with that butternut squash bisque using the bone broth and maybe a side of protein of four ounces or so ribeye and Brussels yeah, sprouts sounds and delicious in that smoothie if you get greens in there then you get a boost of folate as well so totally ways to layer in the food is medicine boosts we hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like it and subscribe to our youtube channel so you never miss our tips and tricks on food as medicine and functional medicine solutions Now we do a hair flip for, oh, for yeah. outro.